All right, it's Chen Chen here, and for today's topic, we're going to talk about investing in real estate through real estate exchange or what we call property exchange. When this topic is for people who, if you in your hand already have a property or a piece of land, but you don't know and don't want to go and develop it, so when you currently hold a property that you are unlikely or you don't don't like or you don't know how to invest in it so when we come into what you call real estate exchange actually in long time ago in our instance actually we are doing business with system butter that's for example is people using eggs to trade for the chicken to everything else is used by the system butter go and trade for the things that we want so after that came up with the money so that we can get loan or anything else let's say for property or estate investing actually there's a lot of opportunity of benefit when you come into if you know how to do exchange through the exchange way when you're doing your property investment let's say for example is you have a piece of land but you don't know how to develop you don't know how to do it then you also don't know how to instead of just selling your your land but actually you can cooperate or joint venture with real estate developer so that you can come up with them and then talk with them that what you want actually maybe you can joint venture with developer so that you can together with the developer build a house or a few property residential property so that you get the property from them so maybe a few units of the residential property so that after that you can go and rent the property out or you want to sell it and then to earn more extra credit this is for example you can do it so the second example is if you currently you hold a property that for example is double story or third uh, three story house but you don't like it actually you can go and exchange with the people who already have a few property for example they are young and then you can change with them so that you can have a few uh, a few residential property so that you can you can stay with yourself for one and after that the two and then you rent it out this is the thing that you can do with a lot not just about these are the few example thing actually when you come to want to do property exchange actually have the benefit of the tax also you will save and then especially in this time of recession time or the market is down you don't need any loan and anything that to do everything else so that you can come up with the way of property exchange or real estate exchange with the people who already have the property that you want or you like it so that you can exchange with them and nowadays is a lot of developer usually they are more likely to find land than joint venture they are more willing to do joint venture with you so that when we come to property exchange not just about land but when you talk about land for example is you have piece a few piece of land in the area that in maybe is the strategy the location is not so good but the land is big enough actually you can go and change with the people who have the land in the strategic location or the government also you can go and talk with them so you can do that property exchange anything not just about the land but actually the land everything else for example agriculture land and then for even though Malay reserve land everything else you can do it with that so when we come about property exchange there's a lot of benefit for you go and do it so that but before anything else you want to start to do the property exchange first you need to have an education first you need to know about your property value you need to know about the value of the property whether it's same value as what you exchange or not or even more uh, this one you have to study so first you move to want to do the property exchange market everything else before that you're gonna fill up your brain with a lot of knowledge first and then you're gonna have your education after that you can go and seek out for the property and then you can talk and then you can survey you can search after that you exchange it so this one you give you a lot of benefit and then when you want to talk about the deal 
and you want to exchange the property with someone else you need to have a mindset of came up with a win-win situation which means that the thing that you trade with the person who want to trade actually in a win-win situation both of you is agreeable on the term or anything else and then the most important thing is you can come up with the agreement and then you can consult with expert uh, real estate attorney real estate lawyer so that came up with a contract in written form then go out with win-win situation so that you can know win-win or no deal so that's for today and hope you like it see you